Welcome to How We Did It, a podcast dedicated to dentists teaching dentists. This podcast is powered by ESS Dental Solutions, the nation's leading platform for outsourced dental billing and other services. All of the guests are winners of ESS Top Practice Award, who share their experiences, best practices, and what sets them apart in their communities. Their opinions and recommendations are their own, and you should consult with your own professional advisors with respect to your own practice. Welcome everyone to today's episode of our How We Did It podcast featuring our Top Practice Award winners. I'm so excited to introduce today Dr. Jarrett Romine. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. All right, so we can jump right into the questions. I'd love to learn more about you and your background, your practice, and what your journey in the dental industry has looked like. Yeah, um, I graduated during COVID, so went on spring break and never went back. I guess I was close enough to done. Um, and then worked in Colorado for a year. Um, and I don't know, worked for corporate dental stuff, and I'm not a huge fan, but it taught me a lot, and it was a good experience my first year out of school. Um, worked for an associate for a year, realized that wasn't going where I thought it was going and bought a practice about a year ago. So it's been a lot of moving in two, three years, but it's, I've learned a lot of every step. So, yeah. That's awesome. I feel like you've packed so much into the time since you've graduated. A little bit. <laughs> Hasn't been a straight road, but we figured it out. Sure. Sure. So how does your practice serve your surrounding community? And then how do you differentiate yourself from other practices within your community? Yeah, I mean, I'm back home in my hometown where I went to high school with, at where both my parents are from, and my grandparents are from. So I, it's it's nice to be back home. Um, honestly, Topeka is just a really easy place to practice if you just treat people well and you work hard. Um, I, I I guess I work a little harder than some people, but I grew up doing construction stuff. I'm used to working and I, I just am used to doing stuff on a daily basis and doing as much as I can while I have the opportunity to do it. And I'm blessed that there's a lot of work to be done in this town. Um, I guess the way I differentiate myself is just trying to be personal, trying to be myself, not overly professional, but also like respectful and knowing what I'm doing. Um, and I try to take care of the people who God put around me, whether it be employees, family, um, or just different social organizations in town that I believe in. And at the end of the day, you just treat people well and you're there and working and people have showed up. So it's been nice. Awesome. I'm curious to know, you mentioned that you did construction stuff growing up. How did you initially get introduced into dentistry or where did that interest come from? I went to K-State and got a biology degree because I like hunting and fishing. Um, I realized there wasn't a whole lot of jobs in that. My Last job before dental school was working uh, for Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks doing fish research. Um, but I realized that there's no, it's all grants. There's no jobs filled. You don't get to pick where you live or what you do. Or if a grant dry, dries up, you don't have a job. Um, so I guess I wound up in dentistry by default because I didn't know what the heck to do with my biology degree. So, all right. Yeah. That's an interesting journey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all find it somewhere. Yes, that's true. What does a top practice mean to you? Obviously, we're partnered through eAssist and we're honoring your practice as a top practice. Um, but can you tell me a little bit about why you think your practice is a top practice and how, I guess it kind of ties in with differentiating yourself from other practices? Honestly, I've just got, I'm just blessed that I've got a great team. I, I was really worried about staffing. I was really worried about being a 28 year old dude taking over a older lady, not older, she's not old, but she's twice my age, um, female dentist practice and would staff respect me? Would they want to work with me with all that stuff? Um, and really at the end of the day, it's just having a good team. I mean, treating people well, but also treating your team well um, and wanting them to be their best so we can be our best. And I don't even work with you. I mean, I do, I pay the bill, but Susan and Wendy do everything with you guys. And so if things run smooth on that side. If you guys enjoy working with us um, or know anything about us, it's because of them. Um, and so really it's just trying to enable my team to be the best they can. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Being a top practice for me is individually being the best that we can be. Um, and then me trying to fill in the, the spots and make everybody 
be better because I can't do it on my own. Sure, sure. So you touched on it a little bit in terms of staffing and I think focusing more on your patients. Um, yeah. I'm curious to know if you can speak a little bit to how having e-assist has impacted your practice. Uh, you guys make billing and the money part, which is my least favorite part, easier. Um, yeah, staffing is the thing and we have to have a big enough team. And I've got a couple uh, receptionist, office manager, collections people. I guess you make their jobs more streamlined and easier so they can handle a wider variety of stuff and I don't have to be overstaffed in that capacity. Also, I guess you guys don't have to get, well, you get sick, but you're an organization, not an individual. Um, I love Wendy, but she's got six kids with sports practice constantly. And I want her to be part of that. So it makes our life easier that you guys kind of streamline stuff. You're always around, you have individual stuff going on, but because there's a organization we work with instead of one employee, um, you take a little bit of burden off of my individual employees. Sure. Yeah, that's awesome that we're able to take some stuff off of your back so your employees can focus on other things that go on, that are happening within your practice. Yeah. All right. I'm curious to know your answer to this, considering that you're a relatively new dentist out of school. Um, but being a provider that does have an established office, if you were talking to a new provider who is fresh out of dental school with fresh eyes on what's next for me, what would be your advice? I mean, honestly, I think the big thing is, is that be humble enough to realize that there's a lot to learn, a lot you can learn. Um, and whether it's through conferences or just networking or just reading articles, just realize you can learn stuff from everything. But to the other side of that, don't assume just because the guy's been out longer than you that he knows anything because some people haven't pushed themselves for the last couple of decades. Um, and so it's not about comparing yourself to whoever's across the parking lot or across town, but it's it's how can we be better and how can we look at who else is around and who can you learn from? And, and um, yeah, it, 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 just pursuing your goals no matter where you're at, because if you're young and you're ambitious and you want to learn, there's a lot of opportunities out there in the right spot. Then again, I'm also really lucky that I'm in a town that isn't competitive. Um, if it was Southern California or Colorado where I used to practice, I wouldn't own my own practice right now. So uh, it's finding a place that you feel comfortable being, um, figuring out what goals are realistic and you got to make compromises in life. Although I haven't had to make a ton, but um, just realizing like you're not better than anybody, but if you work hard, you can be better than people who have been doing a lot longer than you. Sure. I love how your story speaks so much to the value of just working hard to get to where you are. Yeah, and having the right opportunities. For sure, for sure. All right, well, those are all the questions for today. I just wanted to say congratulations again on your Top Practice Award, and thank you for joining me on the podcast. Cool, well, thanks for having me. This podcast is sponsored by eAssist Dental Solutions, a platform dedicated to helping dentists get paid faster and get paid more. Dental insurance billing services provided through the eAssist platform can relieve your dental insurance headaches, get your over 90 insurance receivables near zero, and help you collect 100% of what you are rightfully owed by insurance companies. To learn more about how the eAssist platform can help your practice or to schedule a free consultation, please visit dentalbilling.com.